All right, guys. Hi, it's me again. Can't wait to see what picture you're going to get on my thumbnail. Anyway, we're going to move into a huge, huge, I have a terrible impression of him. Anyway, we're moving into a huge deal. Big law, going to be on the test. You need to know it. Absolutely going to affect your career. going to affect your personal life. You must know this, okay, guys? Absolutely huge deal. Okay, we're moving into the Lilly Ledbetter Fair Pay Act of 2009. This has passed within the last 10 years. It was Barack Obama's first, um, it was his first piece of leg legislation that he assigned, okay? This was in reaction to the Lilly Ledbetter versus Goodyear Tire & Co. Act. Um, court case in 2007. This is really recent. This has to, this amends the Civil Rights Act of 1964. Big deal, okay? So let's jump right on in here. Let's learn about this, okay? It states that the clock will begin running anew each time an illegal act of discrimination is experienced by an employee. In Lily Ledbetter's situation, her pay was less than that of men doing the same job. The old law did not permit her to succeed in complaint of discrimination because she failed to file 20 years earlier on the first occasion of her receiving a paycheck for less than her male counterparts. Under the, under the new law, the 180-day statute of limitations for filing an equal pay lawsuit regarding pay discrimination resets with each new paycheck affected by that discriminatory action. Okay, guys, super short, really easy, but this now changes everything. So anytime there is that equal pay discrimination that was at 180 day statute of limitations, no more. It, it resets each time. So Lily Ledbetter was able to file based on her most recent paycheck. Okay, guys, whenever you see that, remember this, big deal, huge, get it in your memory. I believe this video is under two minutes, 30 seconds, probably 45 seconds of it is just straight me rambling. You can remember this, and I believe in you to pass this. Yeah, you got it, guys. Bye.